The next thing I want to show is the if-then expression in Haskell. So let's make a function. We'll call it double if. And it doubles if its parameter is a small number. So we're going to define this function as being equal to if x is less than 10, then we're going to double it. And otherwise, we'll just return it. Let's say that. Um, I'm going to use has Emacs's Haskell mode to indent this so that those are indented in the, in the way that you see on the screen. Now the important thing about the if expression is that it's actually an expression. It has to have an else clause and essentially it returns a value. So if is it takes a, a, a conditional and then it produces a value. So um, so this is an expression just like multiplying by 2 is an expression. So let's run this. I'll save it. We'll reload foo. And now we have the double if function. So double if 5 and the result is 10. Is that what we wanted? Yes, we said if, it, if the number was less than 10 then we doubled it. How about double if 10. That should give us a 10 because 10 is not less than 10. There we are. So the important thing here is 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 understanding the if expression which indeed is is an expression. It's sort of like the ternary expression in C um, but in this case the important thing is that the if actually produces a value.